Good evening again. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chase Gallimore in for Guy Hornbuckle. And I'm Melissa Riopka. Should a Bible program that's been around for decades be allowed in schools? That's a question the Jackson County Board of Education had to answer tonight. Way 31's Ellis Askew was at the meeting and she joins us now with more. Ellis. Well, it all started when the board received a complaint from a family in the school system and the Freedom From Religion Foundation. They say the so-called Bible man who leads the program to help students earn Bibles should not be allowed because it's unconstitutional. But tonight, the voice of the church was heard loud and clear. It's a packed house. More than 100 people showed up to make their voices heard. We're here today just to make a show for to say, hey, Christianity's in and we love it, and we're glad that this country is founded on it. The board went into executive session to discuss the possible litigation. It had to decide after 30 years if it's going to allow the Bible man to continue his program in the schools. We just wanted to push to have our county give an option for children to hear. The Bible man come back. He's been part of our county so long, and our children appreciate and love it. And we just feel like they're that our children value it. While the complaint before the board cited violations of the Constitution, Senator Shadrach McGill says he doesn't believe in separation of church and state. No, I don't. I don't believe that you keep God out of state. Uh, church represents uh, the body of Christ. Christ being the head of that body, and no, I don't believe in, in that separation. While the board met, the people sang. And grace will And prayed. After an hour in the executive session, the board returned with a statement, allowing the Bible man and other activities to remain in the school system. It shouldn't be the country we live in that the minority forces their rights and beliefs on everybody else. You know, we, we respect and want to respect everybody's right, but we want ours respected too. The Freedom From Religion Foundation filed other complaints against the system, including prayers before school athletic events and religious Christmas programs. No one supporting those complaints attended tonight's meeting. Chase?